Hey bitch, I'm back. Today, I will doing, I will doing, okay, that's grammatically correct. I will be doing my first monthly favorites video. I decided I wanted to make this video because I have just a few items that I need to show you people because they're just so life changing. Literally life changing, did you hear me? I'm so sorry. I literally only have like three things that I want to show you guys, so I don't even know why I'm like hyping it up like fucking, like I'm a nutcase. First piece of shit, y'all are gonna get a trip out of. If you have me on Snapchat, you probably have seen this already. If you don't have me on Snapchat, first of all, what the f are you doing? Okay, add me on Snapchat. And it is this ramen. Look at the title. Look at the title! It's gin ramen, bitch. Gin ramen. This is eat gin to like the next level. If he did this, if Jin ate this gin ramen on an eat gin, I literally just confused myself. Anyways, wouldn't that be just the greatest freaking thing ever? He's literally eating ramen that's named after himself. Okay, so my mom, she went to uh, the Korean market and brought these back. I know a lot of you guys are in places that don't have access to the things that I'm gonna show you. So if you don't have access to anything, I'm gonna link down in the description some like websites you can go to if you want to order it online. If I can find any, if I can't find any links, I don't know. My mom bought these from a Korean market. If you're next to a Korea town, you're in luck. If you're not, I'm sorry. I don't know. Jin Ramen bitch made my whole month. Monthly favorite right here. Monthly favorite. This one I discovered a little bit recently, literally like a few days ago when I went to my favorite store, my favorite Korean makeup store. It's called Nature Republic. Nature Republic, okay. I was running out of things to put on my face. Um, more specifically, some good concealer. Um, my entire life I've been using some real shitty concealer, the stick concealer. I saw this concealer and it said buy it before it gets sold out. So, I bought one, okay. It looks like this, it comes in this package. Um, me being the whitest anti-sun person you're ever going to meet, um, I have to get the lightest color. Color 2-1, it's called light beige, which means light beige. Um, <laughs> you can't romanize everything in Korean and have it sound correct, you know what I mean? Like that's what it looks like. So it just comes out like a little cream. Yes. Literally, this little speck of concealer will be able to cover and conceal all the blemishes beneath my eyeballs. Okay, so like down here, down here. Um, this little speck can cover everything. This is so full coverage and it's really light too. Like, not in color, but like, it's not super dense. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like a crayon. This is like whipped cream. Literally, I don't even need to put on foundation. I just put on a few little specks of this concealer and boom, my face is literally flawless. And unfortunately for my darker skin beauties, I don't think they have concealer that is dark chocolate beautiful color. Um, but for all y'all that wanna try Korean products, this is that. This is the best concealer I've ever come in contact with and um, it was only $10 a piece. Not too bad, especially for the little amount I use. And it smells fresh, kind of like lemons. The last thing and probably my top favorite from this favorites video of only three things, pff, literally I'm useless. The Akotar series. These books, this trilogy has changed my life and my outlook on everything. Um, so as you can see, these are not my books. These are actually library books. This is the second book. This is the first book. Sarah J. Mass, the author of this trilogy, is my favorite author. Since I started reading Throne of Glass, which is her other book series that I also highly recommend. And since then, <clears throat> since I have gone off to college and finished high school and whatever, she came out with this series. A Court of Thorns and Roses, 
A Court of Mist and Fury, and her most recent and final release of the series, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, as you can see, this one is not a library book, because you know why? I read these books, these first two thick books, I read it in maybe five days. It's not like amazingly fast, but I was doing other shit, okay? You guys know that I'm in the middle of organic chemistry, I'm doing summer school, I'm torturing myself, yet I made time and almost sacrificed my grades to read these fantasy books because they are so good. And then when I finished them, I literally went out to buy the third book because it wasn't available at any library near me, and I bought this. I would give you guys like the whole synopsis of like the series, but there's already like millions of videos of people who talk about this series in particular, A Court of Thorns and Roses, where you guys can like see if it's your taste in books. I would have been okay if the level were just at Throne of Glass because Throne of Glass was amazing, but this took it up a notch, especially for you perverts just like me. This book has some steamy steamy scenes. And literally I was sitting there reading the book like that went where and she did what? Not only are there some very good romance scenes, but there is also just a really thought out amazing plot. So if you guys kind of like fantasy young adult books, um, check it out. Yeah, and I'll just put the title and the author in the description box. You guys can look it up on your own. <sighs> That's all, folks. I'll put some helpful things in the description for you. Don't forget to add me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, also, if you want to send me stuff to my P.O. box, because this beautiful necklace right here, one of you guys sent me, and I've literally been cherishing this so much, and I'm just so appreciative of whenever you guys send me stuff, letters to fan art, like you guys have seen my door right here full of fan art, uh huh, fan art, PO box address will be in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you beautiful internet people next time. Anyway, you guys,